Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. Today we are going to unbox a projector, the ViewSonic PX700 HG projector. I will go over to my family room, we'll set it up, check it out on a completely blank wall. This is a 1080p projector from ViewSonic with 3500 lumens. I will also be setting it up very shortly and I'm hooking up my Xbox to it because there's a low input latency mode so you get very little input lag when gaming. There's also a super color technology ViewSonic has for a wide color gamut, so we'll be checking that out, showing, up, showing off some videos and more with this projector. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy, show you real quick what comes in the box and get it all set up. Let's get started. Hey. Here is the ViewSonic digital projector opening up the box right away. We have our quick start guide. Looks like it does come with batteries for the remote. Also included, of course, the AC power cable and it looks like a VGA cable for display input. There are also HDMI inputs on this projector. A little difficult to take out of the box with this camera in front of me, but here is that ViewSonic projector. Looks like there's a little bit of plastic on here. There you go. So a little satisfying to take that off. Anyways, on the back of the projector, you have two HDMI slots, USB, mini USB, looks like two VGA slots and an RS-232 slot. And then of course, you have audio in and audio out. And up at the top is where the focus and zoom wheels are. And I will say, very easy to get to, not going to be an issue. Also, it does have 1.1 times optical zoom. You also have a group of controls on the top, such as power, source, volume, menu, just a lot of different ones with LED indicators. Some nice openings on the side for room to breathe. There's a look at that front lens. Of course, the ViewSonic logo and just a little more room to breathe on the other side. At the bottom, you do have three grips to actually grab onto whatever surface you decide to put it on. All right, so time to set up the ViewSonic PX700 HD. I have it plugged into power. I also plugged in my Xbox and a Chromecast, and I haven't turned it on yet. You will see that LED light is blinking. Let's go ahead and press the power button, turn it on for the first time. All right, so pressing the power button, it is booting up now. I will need to obviously focus it, figure out the scale. There is the image on the wall at the moment. Obviously, we want to make that just a little bit bigger. So the display size is dependent on how far away the projector is. However, this is as small as it gets. And like I said, 1.1 times optical zoom. So you can zoom it all the way up to there. And of course, you just need to make sure it is in focus. So with it set up at an optimal distance away, it looks like we are now on the start screen. So I wanna go ahead and run through the setup process, talk about anything noteworthy. And the setup process is simple. I just had to choose my language and we are now on our input. So here is the Chromecast all projected onto my wall. And as you can tell by the Chromecast splash screen, it is 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So this is optimal time for daylight in my apartment. I have a ton of natural lighting coming in. However, with the brightness of this projector, I can still see this image just fine. And obviously I know this image is going to look better and better as the day goes on. So I am happy with how this looks in the brightest daylight it will be. So on the remote, pressing the color mode option, you do have a group of options. You can go to sports, brightest, obviously standard. You can go down to gaming and it enables the three times fast input if you'd like to. Or of course you can go to movie mode when watching a movie. And there is also an eco mode for the lamp where you can change it from normal, eco, dynamic, or super eco. Now it's time, let's go ahead and do a little gaming. So if I press the source button, I can go up to HDMI one where that Xbox is. And of course, worth mentioning, this has a two watt speaker. So if you don't even have speakers that you wanna plug in, that is totally okay. The projector itself has a speaker. All right, so in real time, the first game I'd like to play is Rocket League here because this one is very easy to tell if you have input lag because it is just so fast paced. Wow, already got a goal right there. And obviously I have the speaker going out of the ViewSonic projector, so you should be able to hear that. Now no, overall, I'm not really noticing any input lag. It seems to be very responsive, especially on such a big display. It is a really cool uh, feeling playing Xbox on my wall right now. Obviously I do have the sound coming out, which 
Seems to be just fine. Not, I mean, not crazy. You're not gonna get surround sound out of it, but it is nice that they do have speakers in case you, for whatever reason, don't wanna hook up speakers to it. All right, so let's go ahead and play Battlefield 1 now. And I did roughly measure this, and it is 77 inches, which is crazy playing this game on such a big screen. Again, input lag feels just fine when I zoom in like so and miss all my shots. Oh, got one shot in there. Not the best with a controller, I have to say. More of a PC gamer, which we can actually test out in just a second. But as you can see, working just fine. And yes, that sound is coming out of the projector itself. And of course, wanted to show off a video. So this is a YouTube video cast through my Chromecast on the projector. And again, this is at about roughly 77 inches projection. So this looks really big, all just on my blank white wall that I have in my apartment. Things are looking great. Colors, uh, colors look good as well. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the, the color reproduction that it does have. And of course, feel free to plug in your PC, your MacBook to this projector because it works just fine. As you can see, projecting the complete image of my laptop on my wall. Also a perfect example of how low this input lag is. Check out the laptop display and the projector. Extremely impressive, pretty much instant in terms of uh, copying the laptop display on the projection. Overall, the projector seems to be well ventilated and doesn't get too hot. Also worth noting that that lamp and that display seems very consistent, no flickering in the lights. And last but not least, as I mentioned, I'm more of a PC gamer. So this is actually Fortnite running on my laptop at the moment that's connected to the projector, running really well, consistent 120 frames a second. Uh, and I'm very impressed. This is really cool playing on such a big screen. Input with my mouse is completely synced up, looks just fine, works just fine. I'm having no issues playing through this projector. And overall, that's just about everything I want to cover on the ViewSonic PX700 HD. Pretty impressive 1080p projector. Definitely check it out. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.